Hi guys and welcome back to my channel At Home With Shell. So today I have a bit of a haul from the Range and B&M just sharing some of their new in bits for spring and it's like homeware spring stuff and a few cleaning bits as well. I did take a little bit of footage whilst I was in store just of what was new in for kind of Easter, spring. So we'll insert that and then we'll do a bit of a haul sharing everything that I picked up because I got some absolutely beautiful pieces and I do like to add a little bit of kind of spring decor into my house at this time of year just to I don't know just to give it a little bit of refresh and then when you've done your big spring cleaning so obviously I've got loads of cleaning products to do that as well um yeah there's nothing nicer than actually just putting some new flowers out or new vases um yeah just kind of freshen things up a bit I suppose so yeah I hope you enjoy this video if you do then please give it a thumbs up and if you are new then I would love for you to subscribe um firstly before I get into the video I do just want to say sorry for kind of any silence recently it was super busy because Tam's in my eldest daughter she's gone traveling well it was her birthday then she was going traveling and going away so we had all that to sort out then it was Arabella my youngest daughter's birthday then I had a couple of videos ready to go went to Peppa Pig land for her birthday which was fantastic by the way um yeah had my laptop with me ready to upload a video and it fell out my bag dropped on the floor and broke <laughs> so i had two videos on there already edited one was to go up then yes yeah, so it's just a bit of a nightmare so then i had to yeah lost kind of all of that footage and then have had to get a new laptop so yeah i'm coming to you today with a brand new video but i should be back on it now so yeah apologies for my silence over the last couple of weeks um so what i'll do to start off with is just show you a couple of new in bits that i picked up from the range um so i actually went in the range because i would keep seeing this vase that i want it's like a um it's like a cream quite big vase it almost looks like a stone effect vase i'll put a picture of it on the screen um and i can't seem to order it online i really want it because everywhere else i've seen it they're around 50 pounds and it's 25 pounds in there and i just think it will look perfect in my living room anyway they didn't have it but ended up having a look around and they had some gorgeous kind of spring bits in um so first of all i picked up this gorgeous flower arrangement in the vase this is to go in my kitchen like i said i like to give the house a little bit of a refresh come spring um, and i thought this would go perfectly in the kitchen window it's not too kind of big and tall doesn't take up that much room and i just thought it was perfect comes in this beautiful white ribbed vase and then it has the hydrangeas in it and then just some um faux eucalyptus sticking out of it as well and that was 12 pounds which i actually think is a really good price um you know i think if you brought the vase and then the faux flower arrangement separately it would probably cost you more than 12 pounds so yeah i thought that was brilliant um what else did i pick up in the range i picked up let me be careful with this i picked up this um isn't a vase <laughs> it is a pendant for the light we have lived in our house now for nearly five years and I can't believe that at the top of our stairwell in the hallway upstairs we still don't have a lampshade. It's just, you know, one of those things where you think, oh, we'll get round to it and then you just never get round to it. Um, so I saw this in there and thought that that would be perfect because I recently decluttered all of my hallway and given it a really good clean downstairs. And next is kind of upstairs and I want to paint all of the stairs and just decorate it nice. And I thought, do you know what? I saw this and then this will give me the motivation. <laughs> to actually clean and do the hallway nice and I just thought that this would be perfect it's like a I don't know if you can hear that it's like kind of ceramic as well so it's quite heavy um and I just thought that this is the kind of theme that I want to go for so almost like country style country house kind of vibes um yeah and just thought that that would look really nice I do actually want to move the location of the light switch as well so I'm guessing I'll need an electrician to do that if anyone's done that um then please do let me know in the comments down below but yeah I just want to kind of move it 
along so it kind of hangs down the stairs if that makes sense rather than where it is at the minute so yeah and that was 7.99 they had some really nice lampshades in there as well um what else did i get from there so for my spring cleaning i have a feather duster but after doing my like hallway stairs and everything it is I mean I've had it for a few years as well now definitely had its day um it was so full of dust I feel like I was putting more dust on <laughs> towards the end when I was cleaning and then I saw this in the range and what I liked about it it's like a feather duster I don't know if it is feather though it's got like it's hard to explain it's not they're not feathers they almost feel like I don't know like nylon -y or something I don't know what they are but anyway I really liked it because it has a cover on it they also had a super long one like an extendable one but I thought this would be fine just for when I'm doing my spring cleaning like getting all the dust and cobwebs um, and everything off the ceiling and then what I really liked about it is look it has the cover on it so you just take that off and then you do your dusting and then when you've finished you just slide the cover back on how cool is that thought that was yeah really handy that was only 199 as well which i think is a fantastic price then i also got a frame from there i really rate the range for frames i buy pretty much all of my frames from there so all of these frames that you can see behind me on the wall i always get them from there um, what I like about the range as well that is if you buy a frame and you know you need another one in the future then generally they'll always have them in stock um, I did used to buy them from Wilkinson's although now Wilkinson's is in the range isn't it so anyway I got this one because I've recently done Arabella's bedroom up so we've gone for like a kind of Disney like pink and white theme in there and like everything I'd hadn't quite finished it because I don't I just I like half finished things and then was like I still need to put the pictures and things up which I've done um, and then ordered her another print to go in here which I will show you so this frame what I really liked about it so I think it's like a three kind of size um and it's got the so it's got the thick black um around the edge as well the thick black black frame um and then it's got the white mount as well which i just think makes it look quite expensive and that was only 7.99 which i think is a really good price for a frame of that size and then what i ordered from amazon actually was this print to go in here um so like i mentioned we've gone for kind of like a disney themed um bedroom um, and it's just all like rainbow colours of the Disney castle and you can personalise it so it says Arabella and then I put on it a dream is a wish your heart makes which if you know your Disney films then it's from Cinderella um, yeah and I just think that would look really nice in there um, and was a lot cheaper than buying a ready framed kind of print as well so quite impressed with that um, did I buy anything else in the range? Let me see what else I've got. Oh, nothing that exciting. What are these? Some make your own Easter card kit. They had so many crafting bits in there for Easter. Loads of like kids activity stuff to do. Um, I've got loads of stuff for Arabella, but we're actually away over Easter this year. So I haven't got as much as I would normally get her because we're on holiday, which I cannot wait for. Um, literally, you know, when you're at that stage where the countdown is on, so it's nine days <laughs> until I go on holiday. And yeah, I just cannot wait because we've never been on holiday this early in the year neither. So really looking forward to it. But anyway, these are the Easter card making kit and this was 1.99 and I think it's just really something really nice to do to make little Easter cards and say you know thank you to the family if they get her anything for Easter um, and then these were only 99p for four of the no not four three sorry room blocks you know what you put in the toilet um they have a little Wilco's range in the range now so thought I would try these I normally buy the I can't remember what they're called they look very similar but they're double the price so I thought I would try these and see how we get on I think that is everything that I picked up in the range then I will show you what I picked up in B&M because they had some amazing stuff in there as well I did also take a few little videos when I was in the range of some new in bits so I will insert those for you now
is everything that I picked up in the range. Now I'll show you what I got from B and M. Um, I've mainly got kind of cleaning stuff, but they did have lots of nice bits in there. Um, so you'll have hopefully seen the footage of that. If I haven't already done it, then I'll insert it at some point in this video. But what I did want to share is this beautiful wreath. I love this. I like to put a wreath on my door for kind of different seasons. Yes, I am that person. <laughs> I put one on for autumn, then we have a Christmas wreath. Um, and then I normally like to put one on for spring. I suppose the only wreath I don't have one for is summer. But yeah, I wanted to get a nice spring wreath. I have got a wreath that I put inside, which has got kind of like Easter like eggs and stuff on it, which I did get a couple of years ago from B&M as well. But I wanted one more... I suppose like florally and spring-like as opposed to just Easter so it would last a bit longer and I just think it looks just something looks really nice about the house um when you've got a wreath on the front door doesn't it so this was 15 pounds which I think is actually a really good price these are so much more expensive online and I feel like the quality is also very good on this um yeah I just really like the big hydrangeas in it just I think it actually looks quite premium but a bargain at 15 pounds and just looks really nice on the front door so that will be going on my front door um then the most of the other bits is kind of cleaning bits that i picked up um i got this new flash speed mop so i use the what's it called the turbo spin mop on my floor which i absolutely love but the main reason i got this is just to do the bathrooms because Sometimes it's a bit of a mission, like taking that up there, and I just thought this would be easier to keep up there. And then also, with the, so you get four dry ones and four wet wipes in there. And then with my cleaning, what I really wanted to do is give the walls a really good clean in my house. So I thought that I would use the dry one as a really quick way of kind of like cleaning and dusting the walls because then when you put it down the walls it will obviously collect all of the dust um and then yeah so this is the starter kit this was i think it was 11.99 um and then you obviously just have to buy the refills if you want wet cloths or the dry ones as well so yeah i haven't tried it yet so i'm looking forward to trying that out i think like any kind of new cleaning products i do love a new cleaning product when i'm starting to do like a big spring clean i don't know why but it just gives me a lot more motivation um i picked up some duck cleaning stuff in there cleaning gel for the toilet i hadn't seen this one before and it is eucalyptus and lavender and it just looked pretty and spring like so i thought i'd pick it up um more practical things <laughs> some new marigolds these were only 99p in there and they're pink so pick those up in there. Um, needed some new softener and saw the new Mrs. Hinch range, um, the Lenore one. I really like the Lenore Outdoorables. I feel like the scent just lasts so much longer. Um, yeah, just it just smells really nice. And this one is a new one, which is Orange Blossom and Coastal Cypress. So maybe when I come back from holiday and, you know, you have a pile of washing to do um maybe it will take me back to being on holiday if i <laughs> wash all my stuff in this i don't know but then i also bought the um scent boosters to go with it as well i don't use these in every wash but i'll use them for things like bedding and towels so things that i want to stay fresh like extra longer um then i got some sephora haven't tried this one this is the tulip and peach blossom and this is the ready diluted sephora so just thought i would try this as a bit of a cleaner in the kitchen 199 i think that was in b and um i got the oh, i got some more wipes to go with it as well these are the biodegradable sephora wipes these are just super handy for giving a really quick clean if there's a spillage or something i'll use these and generally use them on the toilet I don't use them for cleaning all the time, but just for like a super quick clean. And they are, they're biodegradable as well. Um, I got a new scrub daddy. Where is it? I can see my holder, but oh, it's in my hand. <laughs> um, I didn't get a new scrub daddy, sorry. I got a new scrub mommy. Um, and I really like this one because it was pink 
and it was in the shape of a butterfly. I needed a new one anyway, but I just had to get this one. And then what I did also get, and I hope this works because this is a daddy caddy, but I assume mommy also fits on daddy. <laughs> That sounds so weird. Um, but then this kind of goes in your sink and then obviously put that through there and then it's like a little storage area for it. So because sometimes, you know, if you just leave sponges, they go a bit like, smelly and horrible, don't they? So I thought that once it's dry, it can sit on there and then, yeah, can kind of sit in my sink. Um, then what else did I get? I got a dust magnet refill pack. Again, all ready for my spring cleaning. That was on offer in there. I think that was only like three pounds. And normally these are five pounds. So that was quite good. Um, what else did I get? Is that all I got kind of cleaning product wise? I got some Batiste. So I got this for holiday. Um, I love dry shampoo. I think it is a savior. I'm really trying to not wash my hair as much, um, but I do get quite kind of greasy roots. And yeah. Batiste saves me. I don't know what I'd do without dry shampoo. Um, so I got some of that and then got some soap. Not very exciting, but I thought the bottle <laughs> was really pretty. Bailey's and Hardy, and I think this was around £2.50. So got some new hand soap in there. Um, hairspray. I'm trying to... I've read a lot of good things about Elnet hairspray. I actually remember my nan always used to use this hairspray. Um, and thought that it might be a little bit softer on my hair because you know some hairsprays are really hard so I thought that maybe if I buy a better hairspray and especially being on holiday this might I don't know be kinder on my hair or something but it is a lot more expensive than normal ones so this is like the smaller hairspray it's only 200 mil and I'm pretty sure this was like three pound or 350 or something which I do think is quite pricey for hairspray um but yeah I'm just really conscious that obviously because I have blonde hair I diet, go in the sun, then I sometimes get a bit of breakage. Um, so yeah, just trying kind of everything I can on my hair. Um, and then the only other thing I picked up, not very exciting, but were some Heinz beans because I really, I feel like I am a bit of a bean snob. <laughs> um, I don't mind Aldi beans. I don't like Tesco beans. And I really like Heinz beans. I find they're not as watery, um, but these were on offer in B&M two for £1.50 which then almost makes them the same price as the supermarket brand so had to get those whilst I was in there and then the last thing that I picked up which you have to get at Easter time are some mini eggs I have actually got some little like glass bunny things that I need to fill with mini eggs but how expensive a mini egg this little so how much this is 80 grams and there's hardly any eggs in here £1.25 I just feel like the mini eggs bags are getting smaller and smaller every year. Maybe they're not, but they definitely feel like they are. And, you know, when you open them with the family, let's be honest, they're pretty much gone, aren't they? So I'm thinking if I buy them as close to Easter as possible, then people don't have a chance to eat them all and then they won't all be gone by the time Easter actually comes. So, yeah, that is everything that I picked up from the range and B&M. Like I said, they had some really lovely spring bits in there. So I've popped some footage into this video so you can see what's new in store if you want to as well. But, yeah, thank you for watching. Sorry again for being silent, but hopefully I've kind of explained why I, I haven't been around and I'm, I'm back now. Um, yeah, as always, thank you for watching. I have lots of... Lots more videos coming up. I've got some spring cleaning videos. I have so much spring cleaning that I need to do as well. So yeah, hopefully you will enjoy that. And as always, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye-bye.